Hey, what's up everyone? It's Fredo Holtz from Poker Code, and I wanted to make a YouTube video about the top five most influential people or groups in my career and share a bit more about my path because especially lately, the last couple of months, working more and more with our community, um, this question has been coming up more and people have asked more around that. So yeah, this is it and uh, I hope you enjoy. Let's go. So actually at the absolute beginning of my career, the first group that was um, very important was how I got into poker. So I started playing a one cents, two cents game with my friends and we every like two weeks, I would say we played at the house of a different uh, friend and we were maybe 16, 17 and just played a one cents, two cents game. So it was my closest friend, his name was Jan and also another really close friend, his name was Martin and they were kind of organizing it and he also built a web page tracking our results and I can tell you my graph was going down like this. So the first group of people was definitely my close friends um, and school friends from back home who got me into poker. And they were playing NL100, NL50, NL100, and then also in the end NL200. That must have been 2010, 2011, maybe even 2009 to 2011. That was a really fun time. So we we played these home games. Um, I lost, you know, 20 to 50 bucks here and there. I didn't really play online yet. I didn't really play live in casinos because I was too young, but they got me into it. They showed me a lot. Um, they Then when I turned 18, I started playing more and more. Yeah, they showed me their tricks and how they beat NL100 and I learned a lot from that. So without them, I wouldn't have made it into poker. I wouldn't have progressed that fast in the beginning. And it was really important for me to have people I like a lot that I could learn with. And we did these amazing playing nights we just booked an entire weekend and then in 48 hours, we just played 12 hours uh, straight uh, a day and then um, slept a bit and then played again. So kind of LAN parties just for poker and just grinding. That was super fun. And I think that's when when I started catching that, that excitement for poker. And then I proceeded to go on and they started studying and got into got into work and less and less of poker. But um, yeah, without them, I definitely wouldn't have had such a good start. I was struggling. I wasn't beating the games immediately, but definitely showed me my passion for, for poker. So I'm very grateful to these guys, like specifically um, kind of a threefold of Jan Martin and Sens, who we did uh, a lot of uh, sessions with. And yeah, shout out to you guys. In the second group of uh, people, um, were well, mainly two people, are my first online poker friends. So this was David, aka Plain Wasted, and Adrian, aka Booster. I cannot express enough how important these two people were in my career. Like, I, I have to tell a story around Adrian. So we met online and on IntelliPoker, so similar to Poker Strategy, and where we started just Skyping every single day. So we played sessions, we Skyped, and it was just a lot of fun, super, um, like, basically becoming some of my closest friends just because we were hanging out all the time, playing poker, on Skype calls and then we started meeting again uh, or meeting as well. We did our first, like they visit, we visited each other and then we also did our first uh, poker trip. That was really, really amazing and a fantastic time in terms of friendship, but also poker wise, I was struggling quite a lot. So that was maybe my third year or second or third year. And I was still not really a winning player. And Adrian, he maybe had a 20K bankroll and he just borrowed me like 3K and was always supporting me, you know, because I didn't have enough money to, to pay rent and play. And then I got staked and he helped me with private expenses. And so I will never forget that. So Adrian, whenever uh, there is something and you need help, just, um, yeah, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Super genuine, super generous. Yeah, big impact uh, and very important time of my career as well. So especially when things aren't going well, like having these people around me that helped me and lift me up, like that was, that was crucial back then. And then... David, I mean, the guy is just a legend. One of the smartest guys in terms of general smartness I've ever met. And just the way he thought about poker. So I learned a lot from him poker-wise, but just the friendship and the way our poker friendship progressed um, over time. And like how we went to EPT Barcelona together and I bought his action and we just lifted each other up constantly. And then he won the W Coupe main where I had a big piece. So that was very, very important uh, friendship and, and person in my in my life, especially uh, early on in my poker career. So without him, I definitely wouldn't have made it to where I am today. And so very grateful, very grateful for that. That time was 
struggle but fun at the same time you know i was playing a 40 dollar average buying back then i had no money i had a 5k bankroll i owed people some money like never more than 5k but i had some friends who borrowed me some money i was always short on money i tried to make it in poker and that's for me is like eight years ago seven years ago i i really know how it feels and i think it's it's important to know to focus on the like i i think the reason why i became successful is because i focused on the things that i really cared about and then i think make a difference so focusing on my growth investing in myself not caring too much about the things that don't really make a difference so it doesn't make a difference to grind at a ten dollar hourly but it makes a difference if that helps you to improve to get better to increase your hourly to connect to more people to study to learn to yeah to just just improve your overall situation and so um, these relationships and these people definitely had a big impact on that i would say the next step now is group number three and group number three is in terms of my poker career, the group I spent the most time with, it's Team Gatsby Campino. The Germans, my German crew, like Reiner, Korai, Steffen, Ben. It was a, it was a large group at some point. Um, we, I think we were, a Julian, also a pretty big key player. So it's like, I think we were 15 at the max, maybe. It was a, a different course at different times. So different intensity of relationships, um, but definitely my closest people in there at different times were like, Rainer, I mean, he's one of my closest friends. I live with him here, Rainer Kempi. Steffen Sontheimer, he just joined the Poker Co team as a head coach for Cash Game. Probably the person I learned in terms of actual poker knowledge, probably learned the most from. And then Korai, a very exploitative player, also traveled a lot with him, a friend. And from Ben, I actually, we aren't so close lately in the last couple of years, but uh, I learned a lot from him in terms of just observing how disciplined and how much through force and just sheer energy and yeah taking poker edits uh, at the horns and just uh, challenging um, himself all the time like that was also very interesting this group the germans my my poker crew very very big impact on my career and specifically i want to mention the cherry island event there cherry island for me was absolutely incredible so for those who don't know we rented an island in muskoka in canada in 2014 and um, with this crew we spent four weeks there played online poker, cash games, MTTs. I never played more volume in my life and I never learned more in my life. And that was a crazy boost for my career where I think I made it from a good mid to high stakes player to one of the best in the game. And here I want to emphasize again how important community is. And that's also why I love the work at Poker Code so much because that's really that just helping other people to achieve that with their own journey, you know, like to create their own cherry islands with the grind houses we do and uh, want to do more of that. And we have some big stuff brewing there. Um, so stay tuned for that, but also helping them progress and uh, maybe go for them from low to mid stakes or from mid to high stakes. And it doesn't need to be becoming the best in the world, but as long as it's uh, your personal growth, I think that's already that's already pretty exciting and inspiring. And that third group of people, Team Gatsby Campagno and the Germans had a huge impact on my career. Without them, that wouldn't have been possible. And then also traveling all the life circuit and playing the super high lures, all that made it very easy because you had you had so many smart people you could make plans with and exchange with. And what do you think about that and getting their opinion? And that was an amazing time and super grateful um, for all these guys that I got to know there. And now coming to group number four, it's actually one that maybe you wouldn't expect for me to mention, which are my backers. And it's specifically one person I want to say thank you to. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think I mentioned it once to him lately um, on a party where we're on and and having a having a chat about it but i'm very grateful to johnny as well a lot of people in the poker world know him i'm a german high six crusher and for a long long time long time in the game big winner there was one message that definitely changed my trajectory as a as a poker player and he wrote me a message on poker strategy and was like hey fedor I've seen your podcast or I've heard your podcast. Do you want to play Super High Rollers? Because I mentioned there's like, hey, I'm hungry. I want to move up. Like I, I want to play higher. I think I'm good enough. Like I, I want to challenge myself and others. And, and I was like, fuck yeah, I want to play Super High Rollers. Let's go. Like, what, how do we do this? And then I think it was obviously driven by a smart business decision that there was a good opportunity and a good investment for him. Kind of live players where I feel comfortable with where they were and a bit rusty in some aspects and I was super hungry and ready to go on the scene and and play these high rollers and they helped me I mean it's a group of smart poker players but he was always the the person I talked to and they helped me get there 
and uh, they helped me play these tournaments. And so uh, it would have probably been possible through other ways as well. But this, I, I don't want to take away from that trust that they, they put in me. And um, they bought my action for hundreds of tournaments. And I think I made them a, a lot of money throughout these years. So it was a very uh, mutually beneficial relationship. And I'm actually very thankful more for that emotional side of things where they put trust in me and I was able to play up to my abilities and, and show that I, I can. Because I busted the first... 12 bullets or so just pretty fast actually and I was like doubting myself um and he was just no let's let's keep going no worries like just just play go do your best then I showed that I I can compete on these high levels and so having people in your corner having people having your back it's crucial it's absolutely important and so thank you Johnny for the trust back then and that message um that definitely changed my career to crushing and, and uh, attacking the higher levels and super higher levels. Coming to person or group number five, like I mentioned a lot of people already, but number five is Elliot Bro. I've been talking about this quite a bit. I think still when I say that people don't really take that serious is as if it's advertisement or whatever, but there is actually, I think no person in my life I've worked with so intensively and for such a long time. So we've been working since 2015, so we're six years going, and I still every week now, or almost every week, have a call with him. And it's one of the most valuable things for me and for my personal development. And especially when I was playing poker back then, it's always been a big positive impact on my play and my life. So just around making sure when I describe it to someone else, for me, he's the person that helps me make sure that there's never a downward spiral. There's never something building up. There's never pressure that gets too much or I can't handle it anymore because I have once a week, I have that chance to talk about it, to reflect it, to get his perspective on it and also him to keep me accountable to do something against it, to whenever something's building up, to talk about it, to approach that person or to express it somehow. And that's one of uh, the most valuable things I, I do have in my life because it is so important to keep that positive mindset and to just not get stuck and to to go after it and and to um, just try to solve things and, and be honest and approach approach people when I need to tell them something and so that's a big shout out to Elliot Rowe and a big thank you because you had a huge impact on my career the moment we started working together in 2015 was October I was in a rather big downswing things weren't really going my way mentally like I, I was doubting a lot around am I good enough can I play these high rollers I'm not really winning losing money in other places it just helped me put things in perspective and from that moment on, I was just like, okay, I'm losing at some points. That's okay. It's just about one step after the next, just about making good decisions, just about like, I just focus on making good decisions and the results will come and the results came. Thanks a lot, uh, Elliot Rowe. You're a legend and one of the biggest impacts uh, on my life so far in terms of people helping me and supporting me. So yeah, these are my top five um, people and groups having an impact on my career. Thanks for tuning in. If you like that type of content, give us a subscribe, follow us, um, and we'll shoot out more of this type of stuff. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Cheers, Fedor.